what's going on damn dirty outlaws and welcome to the party now <laughs> hey i want to be talking about something that i've been holding off on it it's negativity towards rockstar games now this is going to be a hundred percent criticism with rockstar versus gta i've covered this before now red dead's been out for a solid two to almost three years and gta's been out for about seven to eight years now we're gonna take that with a grain of salt because they just love to milk uh gta but if you guys are og gta online players back when it first came out and then with the first major expansions coming for the next gen consoles a lot of people are still holding out hope that the major expansions will launch when they decide to launch red dead online for the playstation 5 edition and xbox one edition now before all that we would have had gta after every major update they've had they had guns they did heists they 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 just blew it out of the park when it came to the updates what was our major updates in this game well we got rolls and once you hit 20 on most of them that was it the only role that has had up to 30 is the bounty hunter and then they made you pay for that role just like the outlaw pass right the outlaw pass costs you 35 gold and you're only getting 25 in return what so you're losing 10 gold bars basically 10 gold bars who remembers when you got back all the gold and then some from the outlaw pass I do you used to get back all your gold from the outlaw pass now they're trying to bleed you dry there's no new guns that have been added to the game there's no new real like horses that have true new stats they're all reskins. The clothes are all reskins. The missions are all the same. There's no point. And really, if, if you're over the level of like 300, if, unless you really love Red Dead, there's no point in playing it. The only point in playing it is when they up the Outlaw Pass and bring out the new one. The new one just launched. And by far, it's definitely better than the last one. It is a solid 5 out of 10. The last one was like a 2 out of 10. There really wasn't anything exciting in it. This one doesn't really have anything exciting in it either. But it's content. Usually, with new outlaw passes means new update. Well, that didn't happen. We didn't get any new updates. We didn't get jack shit. And it makes no goddamn sense. And on top of that, I mean, the bonuses are cool. I don't even know how to start the new missions, for fuck's sakes. Like, land of opportunities. These are all doubled right now. For money. I, I don't want to fucking play that shit. How do you answer telegrams? Is it like... <laughs> That, that's the only other thing that I can think of, which is supposed to be some single-player experience. It doesn't tell you where to go to do it. There hasn't really been any major expansions. The, the GTA community has had expansion after expansion after expansion. That Yes, the game has been out a lot longer, but who remembers the first update for GTA V? I do. It was the I Am Not a Hipster update, part of the summer update. Or I reversed it. Either way, the, they've had multiple, multiple, multiple updates. And we're over here two years later, pissing and moaning because we haven't had a fucking reasonable update. People want ranches. People want to buy houses. They want to buy a stable. They want to have stuff to put their money towards in a game versus having nothing all right i have everything in the game like i i am level 282 
there's no purpose for me to play the game besides going and doing the Outlaw Pass, which will take me not even a week to do, okay? When there's new content, I can cruise through the content. By the end of today, I'll probably be level 40, and there's only 80 levels in the pass. So, for them to give us an Outlaw Pass that's supposed to last... Is this... Let me see, hang on. It's supposed to last like three or four months, right? Yeah, May 31st. So that's two months from now, give or take. It may give you more XP for your role, but I mean, like, unless you're a player who magically doesn't know anything about J Red Dead, then you have no point in playing it. Like, I can see if you're just starting out and you're trying something new, but you can't even make, like, for a lot, a lot of people are bitching that we still can't make a second character. You can't make another character. GTA allows you to make a second character and play with a second character if you want. But let me know your thoughts on this. According to my analytics, 90% of you are not subbed. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button because it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's try and get five likes on the video. Let me know your comments down below. I'll see all y'all laws in the next video. Peace out, guys.